Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and uh, today's practice is a quick 20 minute practice of a continuous rhythmic flow to raise your energy levels and just help you feel more comfortable, steady and bright in your body. I hope you enjoy and thanks for joining. Namaste. And begin your practice in Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose laying yourself down on the mat, knees out wide to the side and bring the soles of your feet together. Keep a wide diamond between your pelvis and the heels so you feel comfortable in the low back spine, relaxing any gripping in the buttocks, the inner and outer seams of your legs. Laying your spine in one straight line, adjusting if you need to, back of your skull in line with your tailbone and your spine just following its natural curvature, a little hollow in the low back and through the back of the neck. Gently shutting down the eyes, pausing before you start and breathe three full breaths. Inhaling deeply all the way up to your collarbones, let your ribs expand. Part the lips and sigh out of your mouth, let go. Twice more, just like that, breathing in deep, filling up and sighing it out. One more full breath in and out. Emptying your weight into the support beneath you as you breathe out and sigh. Sealing the lips now. Gently blinking open the eyes and rolling the knees in toward each other and then in toward your chest. Squeeze in and little rock side to side. We'll start by warming up the abdominal muscles. Just lifting your head and your heart toward the ceiling so you're just resting on the low part of your shoulder blades. And as you breathe in, send your arms away and your legs away from you at about 45 degrees. Next time you feel yourself breathe out, draw the knees in, squeeze into a little ball. Inhale, legs away, arms away. Exhale, draw the knees in. And just stay with that sequence. If you feel any tenderness in your low back spine, kick your legs up a little higher. If you'd like more of a challenge in the abdominal muscles, Take your arms overhead and your legs lower as you kick them away. Just find your edge, a place where you can comfortably breathe and sustain an even tempo to your breath. Warming up the legs, the abdominal muscles, and also just warming up the lungs here as you breathe and move. One more here. Feeling the knees come back in toward your chest, Rest your head back and relax your neck. And once again, lift the head and the heart. And keep your right knee hugging in, send the left leg out and away and let it hover just above the man. Switching sides, left knee in, right leg out straight, really reach away to the edge of your toes. And then pick up the pace, one movement, one breath. Squeezing in, cycling the legs. And you might naturally find an ujjayi breath here, that audible sound to your breath. That builds a little bit of heat in your body, warms you up on the inside, warms the air as it enters your lungs. Keep your legs cycling and shift your hands interlaced behind the back of your head. So you're just supporting your head into the hammock of your hands. Then start to cross over the body, twisting toward your bent knee as it comes back up. Moving the effort into the oblique muscles here, the sides of the waist. Really lifting up so you can feel your opposite side shoulder blade lifting up away from the floor. Reaching away with your straight leg. Gently warming up. One more each side. And resting, knees in toward the chest, head back on the mat, relax your neck. 
Taking your feet to the floor now, set your feet up hip distance apart. Big toes slightly pigeon toed and heels quite close to your buttocks, arms alongside your body. Bridge flow here to lengthen the muscles through the front of the abdominal, abdominals now in the front of the spine. As you breathe in, send your arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the floor, raise the hips. Inhale, arms overhead, lower your buttocks. And exhale, draw the knees in toward your chest, squeeze in. Twice more, inhale, arms overhead, feet to the floor. Exhale, hands to the floor, raise the hips. Arms overhead, lower your buttocks. And exhale, knees in toward the chest. Last one, arms overhead, breathe in, stretch out, front of the body. Exhale, hands to the floor, raise the hips, squeezing the glutes, the hammies. Arms overhead, breathe in, lower the buttocks. Exhale, knees in toward your chest and a little rock side to side. And then from here, just cross your legs, catch a hold of your feet. Take a few rock and rolls and come up over the legs and step yourself back to downward facing dog. Plant the hands, lift the seat and stretch back into your heels and just give yourself a little bit of movement here. Pedal out through the heels, little sway in the hips, shake out your head. First downward dog for the class, it's a nice diagnostic pose so you can just really feel into where you might feel open in your body, where you might feel a little tight as you start your practice. Just sensing all the feedback from your body. And then take a little bend in the knees and send the gaze forward and just go ahead, walk yourself forward to the top edge of the mat. Bring your feet hip distance apart and when you arrive halfway lift hands to the shins flat back straight legs and as you exhale fold over the legs big bend in the knees there soft fold drop your head let your arms go floppy and then really slowly roll up through your spine come all the way to stand raising your arms up overhead as you go and then take your hands to your heart to heel your feet together, top edge of the mat, standing into dasana. Chest uplifted. Spine tall, elegantly long. And we'll just start with some warming sun salutes. Surya Namaskar C. As you breathe in, arms overhead, reach tall, Urdhva Hastasan. As you breathe out, dive forward over the legs, soft bend in the knees as you fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana coming up halfway. And as you exhale, lunge your right leg back, right knee to the floor. When you're steady, arms overhead, breathe in. Breathing out, hats to the floor. Stepping back to plank pose. Pause here, breathe in. Drop your knees as you breathe out, then your chest and your chin all the way down to the floor. Hands by your ribs, elbows in. Inhale, low baby cobra, uniform arch through your spine. Exhale, peel down, stand on your hands, downward facing dog. Emptying your lungs as you breathe out. Steadying your breath. And we'll keep it flowing, toes together here at the back of your mat. Right leg rises as you breathe in, keeping your hips level. As you breathe out, right foot forward in between the hands. Left knee touches down. As you breathe in, arms overhead, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping forward to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and fold Uttanasana. Rise to stand as you breathe in, come up nice and slow, reach tall. Exhale your hands to your heart. One movement, one breath, left side, arms overhead, breathe in. Breathe out, dive forward over the legs. 
Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, left foot steps back, left knee to the floor. Reach your arms overhead, breathe in. Hands to the floor, breathe out. Stepping back, plank pose, legs strong, eyes forward. As you exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Strong legs, firm belly, inhale, low baby cobra. Exhale, firm belly, hips up and back, downward facing dog. As you breathe in, left leg rises. As you breathe out, left foot forward, right knee to the floor. Inhale, raise the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping forward, bringing the toes together. Halfway lift, breathe in. And fold, breathe out, softening the knees lightly. Arms overhead as you breathe in. Hands to your heart, breathe out. We'll keep it flowing. Arms overhead, Surya Namaskar A. Dive forward over the legs, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step back, plank pose, breathe out as you lower to Chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra, back bend of your choice. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your toes together at the back of your mat. Right leg rises as you breathe in. Right foot forward as you breathe out. Take high lunge now. Arms overhead as you breathe in. Catch your left knee in toward your chest. Breathe out. Step the left foot down next to the right. Bend the knees. Come into chair pose. Breathe in. And forward fold as you breathe out. Halfway lift, looking forward, send your heart forward. Exhale, lunge your right leg back, high lunge. Arms overhead as you breathe in. Hands to the floor as you breathe out. Stepping back, high push up, breathe in. Low push up as you breathe out. Upward dog or cobra, breathing in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Left leg rises as you breathe in. Left foot forward as you breathe out. High lunge as you breathe in, reach your arms. Catch your right knee in toward your chest, top of the mat, breathe out. Inhale here. Exhale, right foot down next to the left, drop your hips. Breathe in, chair pose. Exhale and fold over the legs. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, lunge your left foot back, high lunge. As you breathe in, reach your arms alongside your ears. As you breathe out, hands to the floor of Vinyasa, stepping back, high pusher. Low pusher. Upward dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Breathe and rest. Spread all your fingers wide. Spread all your toes and let your heels feel heavy. Lift and point your sit bones toward the ceiling, feeling a hollow through the belly. Extension through your, through your spine and sides of the waist. Let your head rest at the end of your spine, your eyes closed. Take two more deep breaths in and out. Bring your toes together at the back of your mat. Raise your right leg up and back, breathe in. Right foot forward as you breathe out, coming into warrior one. Anchor your back heel down, whole sole of the foot on the floor. Sharpen your back leg, breathe in, reach your arms. As you breathe out, take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift and open your chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. And as you breathe out, fold forward halfway, extend the crown of your head forward, your fists back to the back of the room. Pushing down through your front foot, release the arms, come all the way up, warrior one. 
Press your palms, open out, warrior two, lengthen your stride. 12 o'clock with your front foot. Back heel feels anchored. Left leg super straight and strong. Deep lunge in the front leg. Calm the rhythm of your breath. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Triangle pose, hinge out over your front leg, right hand down just below the knee, left hand to the sky. Opening the torso up to your left side. Spiral your right rib cage forward and up. Reach to the edge of your left ring finger. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left hand, left hip. Right hand down, forward of your right foot, half moon pose. Raising the left leg, flexing your toes. Engaging both legs strongly without locking your knees. Finding your balance, either eyes down or slowly spin the gaze up to the left fingers. Deep breath in. Exhale, eyes down, soft bend in your front knee to land. Land back in a lunge pose and step quietly back, downward facing dog. Bring your toes together at the back of the mat, left leg rises as you breathe in. Left foot forward as you breathe out, warrior one. Arms overhead, breathe in. Hands behind the back, breathe out, interweave the fingers. Staying upright, inhale, lift and open your chest. Exhale, fold forward, deep hinge in your front left hip. Draw the crown of your head forward, fists back. Keep the chest bright and open. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, warrior one, just a transition. Press the palms and then open your arms out wide to a T, warrior two, lengthening your stride. Couple of breaths here, settle in. Torso straight up and down, front of the pelvis lifting up, abdominals engaged. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, hinge out over the midline of your front leg, triangle pose. Keep your chest open and bright, pointing to the right, right arm reaching. Right hand to your right hip. Getting steady on your left foot, take the left fingertips to the floor ahead of the left foot. Make your way into Half Moon Ardha Chandrasana. Flexing your back toes, finding your balance, firm belly around your center of gravity. Deep breath in, eyes down, soft bend in your front knee, land back in a lunge and stepping back to downward facing dog. We'll flow, inhale, floating forward to a high push-up. Exhale, take a low push-up. Upward dog or cobra, breathing in. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathing out. Two deep breaths. Sighing it out of the mouth. If you have a sigh, you can part the lips and let it go. Send the gaze forward as you breathe in. End of your exhale. Step or lightly hop to the middle of your mat, coming down onto your buttocks. Extend your legs out straight in front of you. And coming into Janusha Sasana, take your right foot to your inner upper left thigh. Let your right knee fall out to the side. Point your left kneecap, left toes toward the ceiling. We'll start with a twist. Take your right fingertips behind you and left hand to your right knee. Incrementally making your way around in your twist. Breathe in, lift tall, pressing into the sit bones. Breathe out to twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale here. And exhale, release. Forward fold now, arms overhead, breathe in. 
Exhale, hands either side of your straight leg forward fold. Low belly hugs in and back toward your spine. Try and keep that long unwrinkled feeling to the front of your chest as you fold forward, not overreaching or pulling. Calming the rhythm of your breath here at the end of your practice. Inhale, lifting up and switching sides, left knee bends, right leg out straight. Sitting balanced on both sit bones, left fingertips behind you, right hand to your bent knee. Take a deep breath in before you twist, ribs expand. Exhale to twist and revolve to your left. Take two more breaths just like that. Firming the belly as you breathe out. Gently sending the gaze out of your left shoulder. One more deep breath in. Exhale, send the gaze forward and forward fold here, making sure your right toes are pointing toward the ceiling. Raise the arms up alongside your ears and exhale, forward fold. Releasing your effort as you breathe out. And perhaps extending your out breath just as a way of staying in that place of surrender, letting go, preparing to rest. Slowly coming up and either sitting quietly in meditation if you have the time here or resting back in Shavasana. Just taking these last couple of minutes to be still and quiet in your body to rest your nervous system and soak in the essence of your practice. Namaste yogis.